Welcome back to Emirates Sports and Reviews Premiership Edition. No, I'm only kidding. Um, so, the Premiership side, we're going to talk about the Prem North and we're going to do the Prem South games that happened on the weekend. So, we're going to kick it off. We're going to kick it off with the Premiership North, right? So, we had three games played in the Premiership North. We had Manchester Titans, well, we had Edinburgh Wolves playing the Manchester Titans. We had Samuel Steelers playing the Tamworth Phoenix and we had the Sheffield Giants playing the Merseyside Nighthawks. Now we had a bit of a blowout I would say, well we had blowouts basically. So we had Manchester Titans beating Edinburgh Wolves 37-3. to We had Tamworth Phoenix beating Samuel Steelers 91 to 6 and that was a new record for Tamworth Phoenix um, and we had Merseyside Nighthawks beating Sheffield Giants 34 to 9 now there was some information that got given to a light well that got brought to a light um, that Samuel Steelers had about 17 guys to play the game against Tamworth Phoenix and the Samuel Steelers guys, they wanted to play the game, so the game went ahead. Um, even though apparently, apparently according to another team from, we will discuss again in a sec, that the league limit to play in the game is actually 22. So I'm not sure, not sure where the, you know, stand, uh, look, 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 the Samuel Steelers guys wanted to play the game, they played, the game got played. And come, well, look, the upheld guys, the game could have been postponed, the game could have been forfeited, but instead they wanted to play the game to gain more experience for some of their rookies and the older vets wanted to play as well. And hands down to them. Um, a source that has told me that the Tamworth Phoenix did not have their starters in for most of the game. They, most of the game, some of the rookie, rookies did get on the field. So it, I'm not saying it's a fair game because Samuel Steelers were playing both ways. But at the same time, player safety and all that, um, the referees, in a sense, should have been able to step in and potentially call the game. But so that didn't happen. But again, not taking away the victory from Tamworth. Yeah. So I don't know how to approach it. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know how to approach it because. Everyone's talking about player safety, but then this happens, that happens, and you know, the Baffer game is on the up, it's on the rise, but we're having scores like this. We're having scores like this. We're having blowouts. Um, and altogether, the three teams did score 18 points in the North, and we're going to go and check out the South. Let's check out what the South, well, first of all, first of all, before we jump to the South. The standings for this division. Manchester Titans are sitting at 8-1. and one, And Tamworth are sitting at 8-1. and one. So we know that the playoff spots for the North are all unsecured between Manchester Titans and the Tamworth Phoenix. Manchester at one seed and Tamworth Phoenix at the second seed. So that is all sorted. Now let's move on to the Premiership itself. In the Premiership South, we had three games played on Sunday. Sorry, not three games. We had two games played on Sunday. We had the Solent Freshers versus the Bristol Aztecs. And we had the Kent Exiles playing the London Blitz. There was meant to be a third game, but we'll discuss that after. Actually, you can see it there. The London, Olympi London Olympians forfeited the game against the London Warriors that as well and um, we'll discuss that one after so Bristol Aztecs beat Solent Freshers 11-0 in a very tight game where the first scores only came in the fourth quarter for Bristol and it also does secure the playoff well the second seed for Bristol in the first time since 2014 and they will potentially be traveling up to Manchester to play the Titans and we also had the London Blitz beating the Kent Exiles 43 to 0 securing 
another victory for the London Blitz, going five and four this current season. This well for the season, with their last game next week against the Bristol Aztecs. Now, as you can see, as you can see, we had a forfeit. Um, again, as I was saying about the Samuel Steelers game, they had only seventeen guys. The rumours are that the London Olympians only had 17 play. They had between 20 to 17 players and the game was called off, hear me, 15 minutes before kickoff. Well, that's a bit of a problem. Um, yeah, you can imagine how annoyed some people were. At the fact that you know a lot of time was wasted traveling down having to play a game and nothing ever actually happened um but there are a lot of rumors that have been going around a lot of information that i've received from players themselves that the olympians had a covid outbreak at training on wednesday um players in group chats decided that they weren't going to show up for the game that Obviously, the players that actually showed up were pissed because they wanted to play the game. Were there 17? Were there 20 players? Uh, I'm not 100% sure. But there's a lot of things that are going on here as to why would you let a game get so far to everyone being dressed and almost right to kick off and then call the game right there and then. Um, if you knew that the game was not going to be able to go ahead because you knew that you didn't have enough players it should have been called good couple days in advance from sources that i've heard is that players were dropping out of the game from monday um they had already quit on the game and they didn't want to play it so that was what the deal is with that situation but again look London Warriors are 9-0 and oh, and the Olympians have been relegated. Now we're going to look, well, now with the standings, as you can see, London Warriors, again, dominant, very dominant this season, going 9-0 and oh, with the surprising Bristol Aztecs finishing the season, well, potentially going to finish the season 7-2 and two or 8-2 and two or 7-3, and three, but either way, that secures playoffs for them and they will be playing the Manchester, they will be playing Manchester Titans and the Tamworth Phoenix will be travelling down to Greenwich to play the London Warriors. Now, my score predictions for this week were close. They were close for one game. For one game, in, well, uh, yeah, one game. Um, as you can see, my predictions, what I had put up, yeah, I wasn't as far away. The only game that I was close to was the London Blitz versus the Kent Exiles and I had a source that one of the coaches did not want this prediction to happen so he continued and started to run the ball instead but you have to look everyone's saying that the Baffer game is on the rise but we had five games played this weekend and only 18 points were scored for by the losing team 18 points spread across Five games. Spread across five games, the losing team teams only scored 18 points. I don't think Bath is on the rise as of yet. There's a lot of things that need to be worked on. Um, but we will have to see what's going on. But as you as we did mention that there are things that have happened that shouldn't have gone ahead. <laughs> so yeah but guys we will be back well i will be back next for the previews and predictions of the last week of the, the season before the playoffs start so i'm gonna hit you up and i'm gonna leave you perfectly with the picture of the playoff games of what's to come and i will see you soon